The knowledge of quantum mechanics combined with Einstein's theories of relativity has defined the modern world. For decades, Einstein's theories have been the cornerstone of physics, shaping our understanding of time, space, and the very fabric of the universe. His groundbreaking equations described how gravity warps space-time, how light bends around massive objects, and how time slows down near powerful gravitational forces. These theories have been rigorously tested, standing as some of the most remarkable achievements in scientific history. However, a groundbreaking discovery in quantum computing has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, challenging one of Einstein's most cherished beliefs about the nature of reality. At the core of Einstein's philosophy was discomfort with the strange and paradoxical world of quantum mechanics. He famously stated, God does not play dice with the universe, expressing skepticism about the inherent randomness of quantum systems. To Einstein, the universe was deterministic, a vast, elegant machine governed by predictable rules. In contrast, quantum mechanics introduced uncertainty, randomness, and particle behavior that defied classical intuition. Quantum computing, which operates on the principles of quantum mechanics, has recently achieved something extraordinary, an experiment directly testing Einstein's assumptions about the universe, yielding astonishing results. To understand the implications, one must revisit the historical debate between Einstein and quantum mechanics. Einstein's skepticism wasn't merely philosophical, but was rooted in scientific challenges to key concepts, particularly entanglement. Entanglement describes a phenomenon where particles become so deeply connected that the state of one instantly influences the state of another, regardless of distance. Einstein derisively called this spooky action at a distance, arguing it violated locality, the idea that nothing could influence anything else faster than the speed of light. He believed hidden variables or unseen factors would one day provide a classical explanation for the behavior of entangled particles. Decades of experiments, including Bell tests named after physicist John Bell, consistently confirmed quantum mechanics and disproved Einstein's hidden variables. Yet Einstein's legacy endured, as did questions about the ultimate nature of reality. Fast forward to today, quantum computing has revolutionized our ability to explore quantum mysteries. Unlike classical computers that process information as binary bits, zeros and ones, quantum computers use qubits, which exist in superpositions of states. This capability allows quantum computers to perform calculations that are impossible for classical machines, making them invaluable tools for probing the limits of quantum mechanics. A recent experiment using a state-of-the-art quantum computer simulated space-time itself, marking a groundbreaking achievement. Researchers observed how quantum systems interacted with the fabric of the universe, revealing something astonishing. Entangled particles not only appeared to communicate instantaneously across vast distances, but seemed to influence the very structure of space-time. It was as though the entanglement process actively reshaped reality, creating ripples in the universe's fabric. This discovery implies that space-time itself may emerge from quantum processes, rather than serving as a static backdrop. At first glance, such findings seem to contradict relativity. If quantum processes can influence space-time in ways defying classical intuition, it challenges the limits of Einstein's equations. Yet scientists emphasize that this discovery doesn't render relativity obsolete. Rather, it suggests relativity is one piece of a much larger puzzle a framework effective at macroscopic scales but incomplete in the quantum realm. This leads to quantum gravity, a field seeking to unify general relativity with quantum mechanics. Relativity portrays the universe as a smooth, continuous fabric, while quantum mechanics reveals a world of discrete, probabilistic events. The new findings suggest a connection between these frameworks, hinting that gravity itself might be a quantum phenomenon. If space-time emerges from quantum processes, as suggested, it aligns with theories like loop quantum gravity and string theory, which
which propose that space-time consists of discrete building blocks. Beyond this, it raises profound philosophical questions about existence. If space-time is emergent, what lies beyond it? Is there a deeper layer of reality that gives rise to the quantum world? What role do conscious observers play in shaping this reality? Measurement in quantum mechanics determines outcomes, a phenomenon known as the observer effect. This suggests that reality isn't fixed until observed, raising the possibility that observations might influence not just quantum systems, but the structure of space-time itself. Some physicists propose that consciousness might be a quantum phenomenon, deeply interconnected with the quantum fabric of the universe. While speculative, this idea underscores the profound questions raised by quantum computing discoveries. Quantum technology offers practical benefits too, transforming cryptography, artificial intelligence, and material science. Yet, with such power comes responsibility. Quantum computers could render current encryption obsolete, sparking concerns about cybersecurity. Additionally, manipulating quantum systems on a large scale raises ethical questions about tampering with the universe's fundamental building blocks. The experiment where entangled particles appeared to reshape space-time itself challenges classical concepts of causality. In classical physics, events follow a predictable sequence. Cause and effect occur in a linear chain. In the quantum realm, this concept begins to break down. Quantum causality suggests that time, as we understand it, may not exist in the quantum domain. Events might occur out of order or simultaneously, indicating that the past, present, and future are not as fixed as we perceive. If time is an emergent property of quantum interactions, it could mean our understanding of existence is fundamentally flawed. Emerging theories suggest space-time might not be continuous, but instead a discrete, pixelated structure, similar to how digital screens display images. The universe may be composed of indivisible units, such as Planck lengths, representing the smallest measurable units of space and time. Quantum computers, operating at these scales, provide unprecedented access to this hidden structure. Some researchers believe quantum computers might one day simulate entire universes at the Planck scale, offering a window into how space-time emerges from quantum processes. If space-time is emergent, what is it emerging from? Some physicists propose the holographic principle, which suggests the universe might be a three-dimensional projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional surface. This implies that everything we perceive, matter, energy, even time, is a kind of illusion. Recent quantum experiments have observed patterns resembling those found in holographic systems, hinting that quantum interactions may be governed by principles extending beyond our three-dimensional world. This raises profound questions. If the universe is a hologram, what is projecting it? Is there a mechanism, a cosmic projector, giving rise to reality? Could we ever understand or interact with it? Some researchers speculate that quantum processes might result from computational activity in a higher dimensional realm. The universe itself might function as a quantum computer, processing information at a scale beyond human comprehension. The field of digital physics explores the idea that the universe operates as a vast computational system, with quantum computers offering glimpses into this reality. Quantum computing has not only challenged Einstein's deterministic worldview, but also opened the door to some of the most profound philosophical questions humanity has ever faced. While Einstein's theories remain vital, they may not be the final word on the nature of reality. These discoveries honor his legacy, not by clinging to his ideas, but by daring to question them, just as he questioned the ideas of those before him. Quantum mechanics has always challenged our understanding of reality, forcing us to rethink the universe at its most fundamental level. One of the most fascinating and controversial ideas to emerge in recent years is the notion that the universe itself might function as a quantum computer. 
This concept suggests that the very fabric of reality operates on computational principles governed by quantum processes at every level. If this is true, it has profound implications for our understanding of existence and our role within the cosmos. As conscious beings, the idea that we might be part of a quantum computational system raises deep questions about free will, creativity, and the nature of reality. Are we merely programs running within a cosmic system, or do we play a unique role in shaping the universe? Quantum mechanics itself points to a mysterious connection between observation and reality. The observer effect, where the act of measurement influences the outcome of a quantum system, suggests that consciousness may play a fundamental role in shaping the physical world. But what constitutes an observer? Does it have to be a human being? Or could any interaction with the environment qualify as a measurement? Some physicists, such as Roger Penrose, propose that consciousness itself might be a quantum phenomenon. His theory, orchestrated objective reduction, suggests that microtubules within neurons operate at the quantum level, allowing consciousness to emerge from quantum processes. If this theory is correct, it means our thoughts and perceptions are deeply interconnected with the quantum fabric of the universe. This possibility redefines our understanding of free will, suggesting it might not be an illusion, but a fundamental aspect of the probabilistic nature of the quantum universe. At the same time, this view raises unsettling questions. If consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, could it be simulated or replicated using quantum computers? Some researchers believe that advanced quantum systems might eventually create artificial intelligence capable of conscious experiences. Such developments would force us to confront ethical dilemmas about the nature of life, identity, and the rights of artificial beings. The idea that consciousness could be rooted in quantum processes also has implications for our understanding of life after death. If consciousness arises from quantum interactions, it raises the possibility that some aspect of the mind could persist beyond the physical body. While speculative, this idea has captivated scientists and philosophers alike, sparking discussions about the nature of existence and the boundaries of life. Quantum computers, by simulating phenomena at the smallest scales, have revealed a universe far stranger than previously imagined. These machines allow us to explore the pixelated nature of reality, where space and time dissolve into a granular grid of discrete points. Researchers have uncovered patterns suggesting an underlying code within the laws of physics. Some physicists, such as James Gates, have even identified error-correcting codes embedded in the equations of supersymmetry, drawing parallels to the codes used in digital communication systems. This has fueled the controversial simulation hypothesis, which posits that the universe may be a computational construct. If this is true, it raises profound questions. Who or what created this simulation and why? Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where particles remain interconnected regardless of distance, challenges classical notions of space and time. This non-locality suggests that the universe operates on a framework far beyond what our senses perceive. Some theorists propose that the universe behaves like a hyperdimensional quantum network, with our three-dimensional reality being just one layer of a more complex structure. Quantum computers have allowed us to simulate this network, offering glimpses into its intricate dynamics. But as we uncover the mechanics of this system, we are left to wonder, what lies beyond? Could quantum computers eventually expose the limits of the simulation itself? If they reach the boundaries of their framework, would this destabilize the program running our reality or even cause it to crash? Prominent scientists such as Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson have taken the simulation hypothesis seriously, speculating on the nature of reality and humanity's place within it. Tyson has suggested the odds of living in base reality are astronomically low, while Kaku envisions future civilizations using quantum computers to create simulations indistinguishable from the real world. 
If we are the creation rather than the creators, this forces us to confront existential questions about the meaning of our existence and the purpose of our actions. The discoveries of quantum mechanics and quantum computing also reignite debates about the nature of consciousness. The observer effect suggests a profound link between consciousness and the quantum world, raising questions about whether the mind is a passive observer or an active participant in shaping reality. Recent experiments with quantum systems suggest that the act of observation may influence quantum states, hinting at a universe where consciousness plays a fundamental role. If consciousness is indeed a quantum phenomenon, it could exist beyond the confines of the brain. This has led to theories like those of Penrose and Stuart Hameroff that quantum processes in the brain's microtubules are the foundation of thought, emotion, and perception. Simulating these processes with quantum computers might unlock the secrets of the mind, offering new insights into the nature of thought and the boundaries of existence. But such advancements come with ethical challenges. If we can create artificial beings with conscious experiences, what rights would they have? Would they be considered sentient? These questions are no longer abstract. They are central to discussions about the future of artificial intelligence and quantum technology. The implications of quantum consciousness extend even further. If the mind operates at the quantum level, it raises the possibility that it could persist in some form after death. While this idea remains speculative, it has led some to speculate that near-death experiences might be explained by quantum phenomena in the brain. As we explore the quantum realm, we are forced to confront the limits of our understanding and the profound mysteries of existence. Quantum computers have shattered the boundaries of classical physics, revealing a universe that is dynamic, interconnected, and filled with possibilities. They are not just tools for solving equations, but instruments of discovery, forcing us to question our place in the cosmos. They challenge us to rethink our assumptions about reality, time, and consciousness pushing us toward a deeper understanding of existence. But as we venture into this new frontier, we must also grapple with the ethical and existential risks. Who will wield this technology, and for what purposes? Could probing the quantum realm destabilize the delicate balance of reality? These questions remind us of the profound responsibility that comes with scientific exploration. The true significance of quantum computing lies not only in the answers it provides, but in the questions it forces us to ask. As we stand on the brink of a new quantum era, the discoveries we make today will shape the future of humanity in ways we can scarcely imagine. The journey into the quantum frontier is just beginning, and its implications will ripple across science, philosophy, and society for generations to come.